doors and the doors. Oh, oh my lord, that's good. Oh, dang, I did not know that. Yes, you have already seen it on television or in the movies. A SWAT team to a military team needs to quickly neutralize a gang of criminals who are usually crowded in a room waiting for the entry of law enforcement agencies. Then an officer throws something in a room and explodes with a blinding light and a very loud noise. And later the criminals are stunned and safely detained. In the best of cases, these officers used a grenade to be gold, also popularly known as flashback, which are indispensable tools for rescue of hostages or similar scenarios. But you have the question of how exactly they work, what they are made of, how efficient they are or if they can be lethal, well we will discover that in this video. Welcome Weaponpedia, get ready to know how a grenade works. Toward it now before all we must know that it is a great stunning nothing but the same T term already gives us an idea flashback also known as a stun grenade was designed to temporarily disorient the senses without the aim of being lethal for those who receive its power, it does so by creating a very bright light the flash and a very loud noise the punk was developed in the 1970s and was used for the first time with the British Army's Special Air Service if the super special force that we have seen in some images wearing gas masks and MP5 submachine machine guns unlike a fragmentation grenade the stun grenades are there built with a casing made to remain intact during deflagration and avoid fragmentation injuries the filling consists of a pyrotechnic mixture of oxidizing metal of magnesium or aluminum and an oxidant such a potassium perchlorate or potassium nitrate but let's go by parts when a flashback a prickly parent being a magnesium based charge that releases a burst of light from around e 7 million candela a candela is a unit to measure the intensity in one one direction. For example a common candle produces a candela and a bulb like the one you use in your lamp or in your room can emit an approximate of 40 to 135 candela so turn it on, turn it over to see it, and now imagine what it would be like if the spotlight had 50,000 times that luminosity, it is definitely something that at the moment it would arrive completely in for a long time, approximately 5 or 10 seconds before regaining part of your vision the flash grenades will cause an effect called flash blindness that is due to the overload of the light receptors in the eye this according to ophthalmologists of course the intense light can cause pain but should not cause permanent damage to the eyes that is the objective on the other hand at the same time the flash band that creates a noise of 170 to 180 decibels when detonated so that you can compare a jet engine generates a noise of little more than 140 decibels and a shot of a 9 millimeter caliber pistol can usually generate a noise of 160 decibels compare it for yourself is a hell of a moment such a sudden loud noise can cause deafness and temporary tinnitus also disrupts the fluid in the inner ear which can cause a loss of balance and consequently of the aim of the criminal who wants to attack the forces of order according to a recognized audiologist receiving a flash funk at close range makes his eye intensity of sound can cause permanent damage to hearing and they are definitely nothing to play with these grenades are true tactical tools that can only be used in cases of extreme need and by experts due to the repercussions that they can cause to an individual and that they are not always criminals sometimes they can be innocent people it takes approximately 20 to 30 minutes for all the symptoms and effects of receiving the power of a flashback to disappear both the visual and the hearing in some cases some people even vomit and have seizures and can even cause potential fires and materials now if you ask me, the effect of a flashback can be avoided, I would say to you that theoretically if a pair of welding goggles and a set of high origins of the type used in shooting ranges could protect you from the effects of a flashback but making use of them also reduces your hearing and vision and let's face it, criminals do not go through life using them and waiting to receive a flashback, they are tactical tools that only police and military have, like almost any grenade, flashbacks have a hand mechanism. There is a retaining pin that is removable and in turn is temporarily replaced by a handle which is held in place by the grabbing and throwing hand but flies free when the hand grenade is thrown the removal of the retaining pin is of the release handle allows a spring driven firing pin to hit a pressure sensitive igniter by a short duration fuse being produced at yes the detonation of a beach there are several types of stun grenades used for different circumstances but here are some of the most common nuisance grenade M84 the M84 is currently used by the 
the armed forces of the US and the SWAT teams when it is detonated emits an intensely noisy punk from 170 to 180 decibels reaper of more than a million candles within 1.5 meters of the detonation that are distributed in the body of the grenade that has holes. This is one of the most recognizable flashbacks in general grenade stun grenade model 7.299. This is a stun grenade of American origin that can also be modified to be used as a tear gas grenade in its flashbank mode produces 4 to 5 million candela and a sound of 165 to 175 decibels. This grenade produces 9 flash detonations they go with 0.8 seconds of difference between one and the other and both the sound and the flash are produced in the upper and lower part of the grenade so it does not have holes as in the case of the M84 grenade and Mica 3 the MK13 is a to read grenade now of German origin. The MK3 is manufactured by the Wayne Metal Company and uses a delay fuse that detonates the grenade 1.5 seconds after the firing lever is released. The Russians have the Vyushka. It has the regular effects of a effects of a typical flash band that also launches rubber pellets at high speeds without being lethal. The body of the grenade is made of polyethylene. The Spanish also have their nationally manufactured to bank the French with their Model 241 grenade to the British with their L-108 to all the Swiss with their irritation score but 114 the Israelis with their stone model number 21 grenade and the Czechs with their ZP-6 grenade. Currently they also use air flashbacks that can fly between 6 and 9 meters in the air, and advance from 50 to 300 meters. Experts say that the trajectory of an airbank flash can be unpredictable due to wind currents, so while Florida shish punk can be used in crowd control circumstances are controversial as are practically all weapons of the non-lethal category. On the other hand and as incredible as it may seem there is also a flashback that civilians can legally acquire of course not in all countries but yes in a few of these beaches banks have the same effects but powerful ones and are divided into three types m11 multi-protest this grenade as its name indicates that it explodes three times a strong blow then two softer blows this when the fuse is detonated the m12 distraction device a little less strong than the m11 only emits a single blast in the m13 thermo canister although it creates a lower volume blast than the m11 and the m12 this grenade also produces a brighter flash and a slight disorienting overpressure for the surrounding people and like you to the cake for this video I want to show you a new super modern development of a new flashback concept the rectangular electronic bank flash grenade and of a new grenade known as an improved deflection device or promises to be safer and more effective than the classic bank flash grenades by employing a totally different system than the rectangular design of the grenade unlike the cylindrical design of the flashbacks means that it will not drift away from the target like under a couch where the explosion would be muffled or it will go back towards the team that launched it or in some case it could even trigger and the timer of the grenade it is configurable and precise if the grenade does not fire it deactivates itself after 60 seconds thus avoiding collateral damage and just as an extra the reusable one in normal flashback grenade is useless after detonation but the DT can be restored for use on several occasions that has been all I hope you enjoyed it subscribe weaponpedia and activate that powerful weapon petty notification bell without further ado for the now my name is weaponpedia and I wish you an excellent day